This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Audible. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here, here with my review of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Is this the next Android super phone that you should be buying? Well, I'm going to take a look about all the different aspects of this cell phone from the camera, uh, the software, the overall performance of the quad-core processor that's inside of this thing. But first, I'm going to start with the design and the hardware. Now, the cell phone does come from Samsung, who makes the Galaxy Note, which is a really big phone, one of the biggest phones out there. Now, this Galaxy S3 isn't as big as the Note, but it will definitely fill up your hand. Now, when you do pick it up, though, you will feel that it is extremely lightweight for how big it looks. It's only 8.6 millimeters thick, which is not that thick at all. And it comes in a couple different colors from marble white to pebble blue. But the first thing that people say when I do take this phone out of my pocket is just wow. And they're usually saying that because when I turn the screen on, it just looks amazing. Now, the screen is a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED HD screen with the resolution of 1280 by 720 and it is griddle glass so it'll be able to survive some tough drops and falls and i would tell you this screen is right up there with some of the best looking screens on cell phones out there on the market right now a playing back video that i even took with the camera on this samsung galaxy s3 the video looks sharp it looks bright and crisp all the colors really do pop out on the screen the blacks are pretty deep uh, for a cell phone screen and i was just overall impressed with the, the quality of it now, one problem that this phone is plagued with is just the auto brightness in some of the applications. So say you're in the browser or you're watching back a video. Um, by default, I think the auto brightness is already set and most of the time it dims it too much. It's, it's way too dark for what it should be. Um, now, you can turn that off in the settings of each individual application if you wanted to. But that is just one of the things that I noticed from the beginning of using this phone. Now, directly below the screen, you will find a physical home button. And to the right and left of that home button, you will find a couple of capacitive buttons, which do perform very well. And on the right of the phone, you will find the power button. On the left-hand side, you will find the volume rocker and at the top you will find the headphone jack. Now taking a look at the inside of the S3, you will find a 1.4 gigahertz Cortex A9 quad core processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, 4G LTE speeds, and a micro SD card slot if you want to expand your memory capacity. Now this phone does come with a 2100 milliamp battery, which should get you a full day of use without having to charge it. Even though I was recording a good amount of 1080p HD footage for this camera part I'm getting ready to show you, I was able to use this phone all the way up till about 9 o'clock that same day from starting to use it at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, but I think if you really break it down just by using just the regular phone features, some very light web browsing, not really gaming a whole bunch, and you turn that screen brightness down, I wouldn't be surprised if you'd be able to get about 24 to 48 hours of use out of this phone. And now it's going to talk about the most boring part of a cell phone review nowadays real quick, and that is the call quality test because we really don't call anybody anymore on our cell phones, right? But anyway, I did ask a few people how did I sound on their end. They said it sounded loud and clear, and it was the same as, for, as far as how they sounded to me. So call quality in this phone is good. I was using at t for this test, and I really didn't have any major problems at all. All right, we're done with that boring part of the review. Now to my favorite part, and that is the camera test. The rear-facing camera is an 8-megapixel camera that can record in 1080p HD video. It does have autofocus, and it is an LED flash on the back. And the front-facing camera is a 1.9-megapixel camera and can shoot and record in 720p HD video at 30 frames per second. So the front-facing camera is not that shabby at all. So I'm going to shut up and take a look at some of these test videos and pictures. Uh-oh, I think I got a LeBron James hairline coming on. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is a look at the front-facing camera on the Samsung Galaxy S3. You can take a look here at the video quality. Also, take note to the audio quality as I'm using the built-in microphone. So as you can see, the S3 does produce some really nice video, and even better, the pictures really were outstanding. Now, I was a little bit disappointed by the microphone while in video recording, but other than that, I would say the cameras on the S3 were pretty impressive.
And now let's move on to the software portion of this review. This phone is running Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 with their TouchWiz UI on top of that, plus this new Nature UX, which adds little things like this water ripple slot and a lock on the lock screen, which I do like. But Samsung also does throw in some extra features and things like that with the software, starting with Smart Stay, which actually uses the front facing camera to recognize when your eyes are looking at the screen. So if you do have the display timeout to like two minutes, and that two minutes, you know, it reaches that two minutes, it won't turn off the screen if it notices that you are looking at the screen itself, maybe reading a website or something like that. So I do like that feature. And there are little different tweaks you can do like tilt to zoom when you're looking at pictures or you could pan to move icons on the home screen. You can also do a palm swipe to do a screen capture of the screen which I think is pretty cool. And the camera app is fully featured. It has a lot of settings in there which you can adjust. I do like the fact that you can actually take still images while you're recording in 1080p HD video. So you're still able to snap some shots even though you're recording maybe your son playing a football game. You can still take some pictures in there. And I do like what Samsung has done with the notification tray by adding all these little different quick toggles at the top to turn on Wi-Fi, turn off Bluetooth, and things like that. All of that is right there, so you don't need to have a widget on your screen that's just right there in the notification tray. Probably the most eye-catching feature that they added to the software is this new pop-up play, which allows you to take any video that's on your phone and make it to this little small little window. So now you can go ahead and web browse or go play a game or do anything else in the OS, and you still have this little video there so you can kind of multitask. Now, whether this is useful or not, I don't know yet, but it does look cool and it really does show off the performance of the quad core processor be able to do this and other things at the same time. And now Samsung is trying to get into this voice assistance playing field with this new S voice, which is supposed to allow you to do something very similar to Siri. So the only way I can really show you this to give a side by side comparison between S voice and Siri. Here you go. What country is Paris in? Let me check on that. I'm not sure what you mean by what country is Harrison. This might answer your question. France. When did LeBron James win his championship ring? Let's go eat. The Heat triumphed over the Thunder by a score of 100. I'm not sure what you mean by what did LeBron James win his championship ring? Remind me in an hour to put the gazpacho on ice. Okay, should I save Shall this I task? It? Yeah, unless you like hot spot, Joe. <laughs> okay, I'll remind you. Here's your task. Ready for me to save <laughs> Oh, that's voice. This is me and you, Samuel Jackson and Siri. Just me and you. <laughs> So even though S Voice is still lacking and hopefully a work in progress, everything that Samsung has done as far as little tweaks that have added to this Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 software um, has been pretty useful and I think most of the things are going to be for the better for the user. Now overall, what do I think about this Samsung Galaxy S3? We're at the end of this review. Well, I would tell you that I'm pretty impressed with this phone and it's easily one of the best, if not the best Android super phone out there on the market right now. From the hardware standpoint, it's a very sexy phone, very stylish. Um, it has a very big screen which is very nice and bright. It doesn't outdo any of the competition, but it's right there as far as performance. And the same thing goes for the cameras on this phone. I honestly would take the still picture quality from the S3 over any other phone out there on the market, including something like the iPhone 4S. Now, other than that, this phone does have a couple different problems with it. I don't like the microphone in the video recording. S voice, like I said before, does leave a lot to be imagined there. It definitely has some catching up to do to get to the likes of Siri. Um, but other than that, I think Samsung was able to put together a total package with this phone. Um, again, as far as design, software, and performance that I think everybody would be able to appreciate. Now this phone will be available here in the United States on five different carriers from T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and US Cellular for starting off at $199. So you have a lot of different options as far as where you want to pick up this phone on. But I would definitely recommend this phone. I give it a salute and it's one of the best phones that I've ever used. All right, so that just about wraps up my review. But before we head out of here, it's going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. And today's sponsor is Audible, which is the leading provider in digital audiobooks and also to spoken word entertainment. And you can download these audiobooks to your iPod, any type of MP3 player almost, your cell phone, your, your tablet, your computer, and listen to it while you're on the go working out or doing something like that. And they have over 100,000 different titles to choose from in every genre you can think of. They have the Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter book now. Then also, too, they have 50 Shades of Grey. For all my ladies out there, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. And so you can download your free audiobook. Yes, you can get one free audiobook just because you are a soldier knows View if you go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier. Again, go to audiblepodcast.com forward slash soldier to download your free audiobook. So check it out.
Well, again, thanks for watching this video, guys. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about this Samsung Galaxy S3. Is this the best phone on the market? Give me your opinion. Also, too, in a few days, I'll be giving my opinion about how this phone stacks up against the iPhone 4S. Yes, I know you're waiting for that one. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.